In 2024, another zombie movie thriller is coming. Horrible zombies appear at the carnival party. How are the surviving humans going to break through the crowd of corpses? A group of young friends are on their way to a music festival when they unexpectedly hit a traffic jam. Luckily, Kevin is an experienced driver and knows a shortcut through the forest. Without hesitation, he swerves the car toward the dense woods. The narrow road is eerily deserted and quiet. In the back seat, a couple starts flirting, and Ash and Kevin join in on the romantic vibe. Suddenly, a figure appears in front of the car. Kevin tries to react, but it's too late. He and Ash hurriedly get up to check, but there's no sign of anyone. They explain the situation to Ty, but he's unconvinced. Unfortunately, the crash has injured the two girls in the back seat. With Lindsay suffering a broken leg, Ash attempts to call for help, but there's no cell signal, and the car won't start. The three decide to continue to the festival on foot to find assistance. Destiny stays behind to look after Lindsay while the others head toward the festival. Not long after they leave, the figure they hit suddenly rises from the ground. Meanwhile, Lindsay is live streaming from the car, begging for gifts. Outside, Destiny spots the zombie. At first, she excitedly waves, but when she sees its grotesque face, she panics and retreats into the car. The two girls think they're safe inside, but they've underestimated the hunger of the zombie. Elsewhere, Kevin and the others arrive at the festival, only to find the attendees acting strangely, like mindless zombies. They enter a room marked with a cross, hoping to find medical help. Inside, they find a chaotic scene, with bloodstains on the floor, and a sense of dread fills the air. After searching every room, they finally discover a woman trembling in the corner. She's too traumatized to respond to their questions. Sensing something is wrong, Kevin decides to leave pulling Ash along with him. As soon as they step outside, a zombie emerges from the house. Ty excitedly informs Kevin and Ash that his phone has suddenly gotten a signal, and he's already called for an ambulance. He then persuades them that since they're here, they should enjoy the festival. Given that they've already called for help, Kevin and Ash agree, eager to have some fun. What they don't know is that Ty never actually connected the call. Meanwhile, Ash's sister Iris and brother Luke are en route to meet them, their car loaded with vegetables and fruit. This time, they don't hit any traffic, but the road ahead is blocked. They see a sign indicating a shortcut, so Iris turns onto the same forest road Kevin took earlier. But not long after, Iris found Kevin's car that had been in an accident. They quickly get out to check, only to find bloodstains on the seats and no one around. Iris suspects something terrible has happened to her sister, but the lack of bodies gives her a small sense of relief. She decides to continue driving to the festival. Before long, they encounter a familiar figure Destiny, who had stayed with the car. Iris rushes out to check on her, only to find her in shock, muttering about a zombie eating Lindsay. Although Iris can't make sense of what Destiny is saying, she avoids further distressing her and brings her into the car, intending to take her to the festival. But at that crucial moment, the car runs out of gas. With no other options, the group sets off on foot. Meanwhile, the music festival is in full swing. As the headliner sings, the crowd descends into a frenzy. Completely unaware of the impending disaster, Ash is the first to sense something is wrong. When a woman is bitten, chaos erupts, and more people are attacked. Throwing the crowd into panic, the performers on stage finally notice something's amiss. But it's too late. The zombies storm the stage, and the once energetic singers quickly become the zombies' next meal. In the ensuing chaos, Ty, Kevin, and Ash get separated. Some people attempt to escape by car, but the zombies tear them apart before they can even start the engines. A female zombie sets her sights on Ash. Just as the zombie grabs her leg and prepares to bite, a gunshot rings out. Iris has arrived just in time. Elsewhere, Kevin and Ty flee into the nearby woods, where they come across a man being devoured by zombies yet he's still trying to live stream. They cautiously avoid the surrounding zombies and spot a police gun in the backseat of a patrol car. Knowing that a gun would make them feel safer, they plan to quietly grab it, but there's a zombie feasting right beside the car. Kevin hesitates, but Ty boldly grabs the gun and shoots the zombie before it can attack. The gunshot, however, draws the attention of nearby zombies, who start closing in on them. Ash and Iris manage to break through the zombie horde and reunite with Destiny and the others. Ash is furious to see that Luke has come along, yelling at Iris, but there's no time for arguments. As the zombies have heard them and are charging, the group, including one in a wheelchair, 
frantically tries to escape. They attempt to hide in a medical room, but it seems someone else has already taken shelter there. Ash desperately shouted for help. But unexpectedly, it was Ty and Kevin who opened the door, after dealing with the nearest zombies. <laughs> They safely enter the room, but before they can catch their breath, they hear banging from the bathroom. Kevin cautiously opens the door, only to be attacked by a zombie. The group manages to overpower the zombie, but more zombies break through the windows, forcing them to retreat to a smaller room. Their troubles aren't over Luke suddenly collapses, gasping for air. Ty, thinking Luke has been bitten, draws his gun, but Ash quickly explains that it's just Luke's diabetes acting up, with zombies just outside the door, and Luke in urgent need of insulin. Kevin suggests leaving him behind, which enrages Ash. They realize they can't stay there any longer they need to inject Luke with insulin immediately. Iris remembered seeing an ambulance on the road during their escape. There should be insulin inside. Upon hearing this, Ash immediately climbed out of the window, ready to join Iris in searching for the medication. At that moment, no one noticed Destiny's body suddenly twitching, while Ash and Iris were quietly sneaking around the zombies outside. Something went wrong inside the house. Destiny, who had already been bitten and turned into a zombie, suddenly lunged at Kevin. Ty quickly grabbed the gun to shoot Destiny, but in his panic, Kevin's frantic struggles caused all of Ty's bullets to hit Kevin instead. Frightened, Ty fled the house. Meanwhile, Ash and Iris found the ambulance by the roadside, but several zombies had gathered around it. Time was running out, so Iris bravely stepped forward to distract the zombies, while Ash seized the opportunity to cautiously enter the ambulance, gun in hand. Fortunately, she managed to find the insulin. At the same time, Ty was being chased by a horde of zombies, spotting a deep pit ahead. He jumped in without hesitation. To his surprise, he discovered a glowing meteorite inside, and the zombies seemed afraid to approach it. Could this meteorite be the source of the terrifying virus? Ash retrieved the insulin but hadn't yet reached the medical room when she encountered Blaze, who was carrying an unconscious Luke. Before Ash could express her relief, a zombie suddenly charged at them. The siblings fired their guns simultaneously, killing the zombie. A set of car keys fell out from the zombie's body, overjoyed. Ash took her two brothers to a safe place. After administering the insulin, Luke regained consciousness. Ash was about to take them to the parking lot when Ty suddenly emerged from the darkness, holding Luke at gunpoint. Having overheard Ash's plan to escape by car, he now demanded that Ash cover him as he made his escape. With Luke held hostage, Ash had no choice but to comply. She fought off incoming zombies while covering Ty's retreat. However, the overwhelming number of zombies allowed Ty and the two brothers to break through the encirclement leaving Ash surrounded by the horde, with few bullets left. Escaping seemed impossible. Meanwhile, Iris was in a similar predicament, trapped by zombies on the stage. Fortunately, there were several barrels of gasoline at her feet. She ignited the gasoline and climbed up a ladder to higher ground. The flames did little to deter the zombies, who continued to pursue Iris relentlessly. Just as Iris was losing hope, gunshots rang out. It was Ash, drawn by the firelight. Arriving just in time, after shooting down several zombies, Iris finally found room to jump down. Working together, the sisters fought their way out, eventually taking refuge under the stage. By the next day, the music venue was in ruins, and Ty and the others had made it to the parking lot. As they prepared to drive away, they encountered a familiar face Lindsay, who had been injured earlier. Luke innocently waved at her, unaware that she had already turned into a zombie. The zombie ferociously lunged at them, with Blaze, due to his limited mobility, becoming her first target. Seeing this, Ty made no effort to help, instead dragging Luke into the car. Luke didn't think Ty would leave Blaze behind, but the latter took it for granted that he wouldn't risk his life to save someone else. However, Luke had the handgun beside him thoughtfully. Just as the zombie was about to bite Blaze, a gunshot rang out from behind. It was Ash and Iris, arriving just in time. But the gunshot also attracted a large group of zombies. And with their bullets running low, the sisters were forced into hand-to-hand -hand combat. As the number of zombies grew, they quickly became exhausted, realizing he couldn't escape. Blaze chose to sacrifice himself. He poured gasoline all over himself and, as the zombies closed in, ignited himself with a lighter. The oncoming zombies were quickly engulfed in flames. Ash, fighting back tears, 
pulled Iris away to safety. Just then, a car drove up. It was Luke, who had returned. The sisters quickly jumped into the car. It turned out that Luke had taken Ty by surprise and shot him before driving back to rescue them. It's clear the Ash family is full of tough survivors. In the end, the three of them drove out of the town. However, the car radio then broadcasted news that the zombie virus had spread across the country, and the military had even dropped a bomb near their location, 